so it's been 10 minutes and the legs you are... Don't, you don't have to yell. I'm just kidding. You're the one who always tells me to speak louder. Hi there. So my uh, disastrous story about Thanksgiving is that I tried to defrost my turkey in the fridge and I gave it five hours for every kilo as per instructions that I've seen on the web and it did not defrost in time and I was preparing the turkey to bring to my aunts. So instead I brought a ham. But now I have this turkey that is defrosted and um, it's the day after Thanksgiving and now I'm having the family over at our house for Thanksgiving turkey. And today I decided that I was going to try to sous vide in the Instant Pot. Now you need the Instant Pot Smart in order to sous vide because um, you can control the temperature from your app. And so what I've done is I've created a script um, that you will find on my blog to uh, reach a temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit and we are still waiting for the water to reach that point now. Now sous vide cooking is when you're submerging um, food in a plastic bag to cook at a constant temperature for a long period of time and that is supposed to uh, guarantee a very juicy end product. So that's what I'm going to do with my turkey breasts today. Um, for the legs and the wings, I am going to put that in the regular um, Instant Pot Duo. And um, before serving tonight, I'm going to roast everything under the broiler to give it a nice brown skin. So I have already started preparing my turkey breasts and I'm gonna put them together and put them in the bag and show you how to sous vide. I've already cut up my turkey, so I have my wings and my turkey leg in a bowl just off to the side, and these are the two turkey breasts that I've carved out. I've already salt and peppered them on both sides. I'm going to put, um, this is the fat end of one side and the skinny end of the other side, and I'm gonna take the other fat end and skinny side, and I'm gonna put them opposite each other and fold it into each other. Then I'm going to take my Ziploc bag. You know what? I should have just done it this way. Yeah, you should have. I'm going to put my aromatics in there as well. I've got a couple of sprigs of thyme and sage. I'm just going to put that in there. And some lemon zest. So lemon peel without the white pilf. And I'm going to put in a couple pats of butter. And as soon as my temperature of the water, or the water reaches its temperature, I'm going to submerge this into the pot of water, and we're going to cook it for about two and a half hours. So using a thermometer, I've uh, measured the bath, and it is 145 degrees. I'm going to put my turkey in. want to leave the Ziploc bag open at the top and you're going to submerge the whole package in. Make sure that the meat is fully submerged. And you'll see that the plastic bag will take out all of the bu air bubbles. Okay, and then we're going to seal the plastic bag. They say these Ziploc bags work well, but I don't know. There we go. Hey. Human error. Huh. 
Now I'm gonna let this cook for two and a half hours. Hoping for a really juicy turkey. I am doing roast turkey, not really roasted, well it will be, in the Instant Pot. I'm doing the turkey legs and the wings in um, pressure cooker in the Instant Pot and I am sous videing the, I don't even know if that's a word, sous videing the turkey breasts. I'm not sure if dude here is going to create two separate videos or one whole video for turkey. Or no videos at or all. Or no videos at all. <laughs> but I'm going to salt and pepper the wings and the thighs. And I've cut them up into parts. So I've got drumsticks, thighs, and the wings are also separated from the drumettes and the wingets. I'm not using all this butter. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I've put some olive oil in there already and the pot is hot and I have it on saute. Just gonna put in a tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna saute my wings first. And then my drum set. You know, you should turn off your devices when you're filming. Uh, yeah, okay. I forgot to cover. So I've browned all my turkey parts, thighs, legs, and wings, but the wings won't take as long as the thighs. So I'm going to uh, pour in a cup of water. Put in my trivet. And I'm going to put the thighs and the legs in first. I'm going to try to stand them up. Hoping that that will actually work. And then we're going to cook this for about mm, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. And then we're going to depressurize and add the wings. Also going to throw in my sage and thyme that I have tied together so I can easily fish that out after. I think you said that before and it came apart. Well, I didn't tie it. I didn't tie it with a string last time. This time I'm tying it with a string. We'll have to see about that. <laughs> All right, close and lock your lid. Make sure it's on sealing. And I'm going to, this is the duo, so I'm going to manually set it for high pressure. Let's do it for 10 minutes. Okay. And then once 10 minutes is up, we're going to release the pressure and we're going to add the wings and cook it for another 15 minutes. Okay, I'm going to release the steam now. I'm not as afraid of the venting as I used to be. Whoa, I, wow. <laughs> Unlock the lid. Look at the legs already. Falling off the bone. Adding the wings now. Put the lid back on. Sometimes you have to 
make sure there's no pressure in there to get the lid to lock on properly again after you have released pressure. Make sure the knob is back on sealing and we're going to cancel that manual for another 15 minutes on high pressure. The turkey legs and the turkey wings are done. Let's see how they look. Not bad. What I'm going to do now is just remove them from the pot and I'm going to roast them under the broiler just before it's time for dinner. Then we'll get a nice crispy skin on them. You promise? Oh, no. Don't promise. Oh. Be crispier than what it looks like now. Fine. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the um, juices at the bottom of my pot for my gravy. I'm so excited. It is an absolute madhouse in here. What's going on? All right, so I finished sous vide or sous vide the turkey breast. Look at how juicy it is. And. Um, I browned the skin under the broiler. We had also finished the dark meat in under the broiler. And everything looks perfect. Looking good. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit like and subscribe. Happy Thanksgiving. So, how was the turkey? The turkey was fantastic. It was really much more moist than I would would have ever thought, especially the uh, the breast meat. I'm usually a breast meat eater, and uh, it was okay, no joke. It was mind blowingly juicy. So it was pretty darn fantastic. I'm a big fan of the uh, big believer in the sous vide method. Of course. You know, finish it off with a roast. I think next time, next time, it will be seared with butter. That would be like the next level. On a pan. On a pan. With yeah. Butter. I think that would be pretty yummy. Yeah. Next round. Next round. Uh, if I ever do turkey again. You will. <laughs> I will if this is the way I can cook it. I don't think I'll ever go back to oven roasted turkey again. No. So for all you IP users out there, you got to try the sous vide method. It uh, was pretty scary and I applied flow for um, taking a risk, especially on a big family gathering on a method that she hasn't done. So uh, kudos to her for uh, going out on a limb and trying something different and it uh, turned out really well. Yay, Instant Pot smart, Bluetooth all the way. Yeah. All right. So signing off for Flo is me, the guy behind the camera.